Jennifer Bradley's life changed when two family members with cancer were dramatically helped by Jin Shinjitsu. She studied this ancient form of touch therapy, opened her own JSJ practice, and began seeing patients at the Marquis Cancer Center. Nobody really understood what I was doing, but finally Dr. Evers called me in and he said, massage, right? And you know. So I explained to him what I was doing, and he got very interested, and he was interested in an integrative program here at Markey. So I wrote him an integrative medicine program using Jin Shin Jitsu as the method, and he took that information and applied for a grant with the Lexington Cancer Foundation, and they said yes. So in 2011, I was the biggest recipient of Lexington Cancer Foundation funds. We think of energy moving very, very specifically through the body. And from time to time, because of illness, lifestyle, various things that happen to us, it gets a little disharmonized. We use 52 main points on the body. We hold fingers and toes and the various other areas. And we hold in very particular ways. We call these flows. What I'm listening for with my fingertips, I can feel or we say here, but it's, it's with the touch, the energy of the body, kind of like a heartbeat pulse. And I wait until I feel that energy harmonize and I feel it rest and relax and open. When people are on the table, what they describe is that they can feel their whole body start to relax and they sink into the table. But to me, the most important thing is the mind relaxes. Some patients have reported improvements in their uh, nausea, some in pain, some in uh, stress and anxiety. Others have found it to be a useful uh, adjunct uh, in terms of uh, uh, coping with, uh, with the stress of the, of the treatment or the stress of the experience of needing treatment for cancer. There's a lot of patients that once they're confronted with a diagnosis of cancer, that in and of itself is overwhelming and the therapy allows them to pay attention to their diagnosis and allows their body to be able to deal with the onslaught of what we've brought to them through traditional medicine. The radiation treatments are seven week long treatments and we see these patients fairly often. We see them on a weekly basis and then you start seeing them, them stress and that's when you, you decide how, at what point you're going to intervene. Sometimes adding more pharmacological options may not be the best in the patient's interest because they often come with side effects. There's been bias by Western physicians uh, who think that drug therapy is, is absolutely the best and you should not even consider alternative forms of therapy, which I think is entirely wrong. That's a very good alternative to some of the drugs that, that we routinely prescribe. It allows patients who may be only managed by uh, strong uh, narcotic agents for their pains to, to actually be eased of their pain without taking narcotics or, or as many narcotics. I even had a patient that um, she was able to visit as an inpatient and postoperatively after having had a mastectomy and uh, the patient's pain was significantly reduced through this work and uh, she didn't even require any significant amount of pain medication. I've had patients that come back and, and report to me that this is the best time. They've had a good sleep in a long, long time. Uh, they often are more relaxed. Uh, you can see a change in their demeanor. I've had surgery in the past and uh, have been plagued with uh, a lot of back problems. I sought out uh, Jennifer and uh, received treatments and I was amazed. I'm a believer. I mean, this is uh, more than just having, you know, faith in it. I mean, there you can you can tell the actual differences that are occurring as you're getting the treatments. When you're taking chemotherapy, you are given a steroid. It opened up a world of anxiety, uh, sleeplessness, feeling very hyped up, and JSJ was very instrumental in keeping me calm and centered, focused. Jennifer taught me the finger attitudes. The fingers each have a representation for worry, fear, anger, sadness, and the shoulds or the pretense. The one that I love the most is where you take your four fingers and you hold your thumb. Ten minutes later I'm sleeping like a baby. 
So it's, it's a big help to me, a very big help. Once it starts to um, receive the treatment, it's almost like if you don't go for a while, your body kind of cries out for it. Everyone received benefit, despite their age, you know, everything, despite their really belief. Using a 10-point scale, Bradley recorded the stress, pain, and nausea levels for her patients before and after JSJ treatment. What separates the Markey Cancer Center from other uh, cancer treatment centers is that we have a very active research unit. Doing what Jennifer is doing to rigorously assess this is extremely important because it will allow us to take it from the subjective of the patient feeling better and knowing that they feel better to really doing some rigorous tests to, to really show that in a quantitative fashion.